Hey guys, it's Lucy. Oh, fuck. Hey guys, it's TWD True Facts here to do my review on the McFarlane Toys 32 inch Lucille. Before I open this, I'm just gonna say that this is one of the hardest things I had to find. I didn't find it sensitive, so um, yeah. But it's not released anywhere but GameStop, which is kind of weird. I mean, if you really want to buy it, you can buy it on um, uh, eBay and all that stuff, but it's going to be expensive. And not all GameStops have um, Lucille, and if they do, they sell out really, really fast. Um, it, costs, it costs about 40 bucks, I think. <coughs> um, and yeah, it's really cool, highly detailed. It doesn't come with any um, Glenn or Abraham blood, but it's pretty cool. That's how the back looks like. I'm so glad I have this because I'm such a Negan fan. And to finally have Lucille, well, I already have the comic Lucille, but this is really cool. And it's tall, so I really like that. I didn't really want to take this out because... I like to keep Lucille in a box because the box is really nice um, but I had to do it for you guys and I'll probably put it back in the box after but this is amazing <laughs> the detail on it's awesome like <coughs> I'm so glad I have this it's if you guys like to role play and dress up for like um, comic cons and stuff and Halloween this would be an amazing prop to do there's a lot of, there's some lines on there, I don't know what the hell that is. I'll contact McFarland about that after. But yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> it's so detailed. <coughs> Here's a closer look on it. <coughs> there's not much I can really say about this because it's just the bat and it doesn't really do anything. But I highly suggest you guys get it. I'm so glad McFarlane actually went along and made a real life Lucille. Um, but yeah, don't bring it on a plane because they will confisc confiscate it. Um, <coughs> like um, a recent article I read about. But yeah, I highly suggest it. It looks amazing in the box and outside the box. So no worries if you don't like it in the box. I haven't made a review for the comic one, but here's here here it is. It's not as big as the TV series one, but it's still pretty awesome, pretty detailed. Um, I personally like the TV series one more. I do like the blood on um on the comic one, and the box is really cool. And again, I kept it in the box because I don't like taking out the bats because. The box is really nice. If you guys do want the comic one, you guys are definitely going to be paying like $100 for it because this is a San Diego exclusive one. Um, <coughs> and they're really rare. I think, a, I don't know how many exactly were made, but I just know that once they sold out, they sold out for good. So yeah, if you guys really want to buy this, um, I'll leave some links for you. I'll try to find the cheapest one for you guys so it doesn't kill you with the price because eBay eBay's kind of the worst to go find these unless you really want to pay fucking hundreds of dollars for a fucking plastic bat. Please leave a like subscribe, it'll definitely help me out a lot.